guys, welcome to my channel, Glam by Suzanne. My name is Suzanne. For those who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to join me. And for those who are new, thank you so much for stopping by. So today is my favorite day of the month. It is my July BoxyCharm unboxing. Uh, this is by far my favorite subscription box and I usually cannot wait until this shows up at my door. So I can't wait to get into it with you guys. I'll explain what it is what products are inside, a try-on portion as well, and just give you guys an overview of what I think of this month's box. So if that interests you, make sure you stay tuned. And if you haven't already, you know what it is, make sure you join the Glam by Suzanne family by looking below and hitting that subscribe button. And make sure you turn that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. And <laughs> if you like me, or if you like my videos, um, or if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts were in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this month's box and just all of your opinions. I love chatting with you guys on there, so make sure to comment below as well. So, so without further ado, let's get right into the July BoxyCharm try-on. So to be perfectly honest, guys, I did open this up already because I did use some of the products to apply my the base of my makeup today. So I applied my foundation, primer, blush, highlighter, all that base makeup outside of this video just to make things faster. Um, but I did use one of the products, so it is going to be a little dirty. But I'll explain what I thought of the product as well. So I'm going to get right into the BoxyCharm box. For those who don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly beauty subscription box. And this costs $21 and you get five full-size products, which is amazing. The value is always over $100. Uh, this month, I think it's probably over like $130. It's usually around that range anyways. Um, so that's what BoxyCharm is. I will put some information below as to what the products are and as well as how you can subscribe if that interests you. Uh, so I'm just going to open up the box. So when you open up the box, it always comes with a little piece of paper that explains what items you got in the box as well as their retail value. So this month's box has the theme Au Naturel and on the back it has all the items that came in my box and the variation that I received is variation number two, which is always at the corner of the paper that you receive. Um, what a variation is, is that there are gonna be three core products that everybody receives in the box, and then there are two products that are a variation, which means that you can get this particular item that I received, or you could get um, similar items in your box as well. So let's start off with the very first item in the box is this right here and it is by Luxie Brushes. This is um, a great brush company. We have seen them in BoxyCharm before. This is a brush trio and I believe it's called Gaia if I'm not mistaken and it says unleash your true beauty by being kind to the earth. Please help keep our planet beautiful by recycling this package. So it's kind of in that sort of natural themed. Um, the brushes that are included are listed in the back and they are a large eye blending brush, a precision crease brush, and a foundation brush. So I've already used one of these brushes, like I mentioned in the start of the video. Um, I'll make sure to insert um, a little clip of me applying my foundation using the foundation brush, which is why it's kind of dirty right now because I just used it. So I'll insert a clip of me using this brush. Um, so this is the foundation brush. This here is a little small crease brush and this is the blending brush. Um, I do love Luxie brushes. I think the quality is absolutely amazing. This here is supposed to be the foundation brush. I did use it for today's application. However, I personally prefer using a big fluffy buffing brush similar to this by Luxie just because it covers a lot more space the application is a lot faster but I like using these types of brushes for concealer and I will be using the other two brushes when I apply my eyeshadow today. This Luxie Gaia three-piece brush set retails for $30 and it's supposed to be eco-friendly and yeah so everybody will be receiving this item here. The second item in the box is right over here and this is by Elemis Skincare and this product here is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask 
and this is a full-sized item. Um, this particular item is supposed to be a green goddess with a treatment mask that nourishes, smooths, brightens, and softens your skin, and also makes your skin appear more radiant. So this item here retails for $35. So absolutely amazing value. Um, on the back, it says that it's formulated by with the use of avocado, broccoli seeds, omega fatty acids, um, as well as vitamin C and other fruit acids. So super excited to try this out. Um, I, we have seen Elemis in a previous BoxyCharm box before. I have loved their um, cream. I think it was their Pro Collagen Cream. Um, so I can't wait to try this. I haven't tried it out yet. I will let you guys know in the comment section below what my thoughts are on this item. Um, but again, great value for $21 box. And the Elemis mask will be for everyone as well. And moving on to item number three in the July BoxyCharm box. It is by Butter London, and this is their Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. This palette will be for everyone as well, um, and it's very much on theme with the Au Natural theme for July. When you open it up, you get a lot of bronzy shades, as well as a few pops of color uh, with a little bit of green and turquoise. The description of this item is that it's cruelty free and it has six very pigmented shadows and the retail value for this palette is $32. So let's jump right into using the Natural Goddess palette. I'm going to pick up the brush from Luxie Brushes. So I'm going to pick up the large eye blending brush. The one thing that I did notice is that there isn't a transition shade in here. These four shades are all metallic or satin finishes and these two shades are matte but there really isn't a transition shade so I'm going to use one from a palette that I already have. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Chantress. For the lid shade I'm going to go in with the shade Diva. For a pop of color, I'm actually going to put the Femme Fatale in the inner corners. So although this palette is a really, really neutral palette, I really wanted to use the Femme Fatale color for a pop of color. I feel like in the summertime I like to explore with much more color and maybe this is not the most wearable look for everyone. However, I just wanted to make the most fun of what I could with this particular palette. So this is the quick little look I created and I am going to continue on and look in the box to see if there's anything else that I can use from the box for the eye look. If not, then I'm going to put on lashes and liner and I will be back. The fourth item in the box actually can be used for the eye. It is by Appeal Cosmetics. And this item here is a variation item, so that means that you may get this item or you may get one of other items in the similar price range. Uh, this item here is a gel liner. It's meant to define your eyes or your lips if you wanted to. And it retails for $21. I got mine in the shade Deep Taupe. I'm going to just draw behind my hand so you can see what the shade is. It looks like a really chocolate brown. Um, so I'm just going to try to smoke out the outer areas of my eye using this product. So the one thing that I did enjoy is that this gel liner is super smooth. Um, we have had liners in the past that were a little bit more drier and chalky, but this one here actually performs very, very well. Now that um, all the eye products seem to be complete in the box, I am going to just apply my lashes off camera and I'll be right back for the last item in the box. Now that my lashes are done, we can get to the last item in this month's Boxy charm. So digging right back in, and it's a small item. It is from Alamar Cosmetics, and this is their lip gloss. It is in the Mother of Pearl shade, and it's such pretty packaging. It's hard to see on here, but the topper is actually turquoise, and it has little shimmer on it to replicate the actual shade inside. And this formula I've heard amazing things about. Um, the shade is going to be probably clear with some flecks of silver in it. You can kind of see a little bit there. I am going to put on a base on my lips and then I'll put this over top. For the base shade, I just used Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the color Sedona 
and it is this beautiful color right here. And I'm just going to apply the LMR Cosmetics Mother of Pearl Gloss over top. So the first thing offhand that I sense is that this smells like a pina colada or like pineapple or something really tropical, which is absolutely amazing. It's not overwhelming by any means, but it does have the slightest hint of, I believe, like a pineapple pina colada smell. So absolutely delicious. Um, this product here retails for $10. This item right here by LMR Cosmetics cost $10 and it is a non-sticky formula. It's meant to hydrate your lips, smooth your lips, and provide an iridescent effect. And my shade was in the shade Mother of Pearl. And I think I might have forgotten to mention, but the Appeal Cosmetics Gel Liner was $12. In this month's BoxyCharm, which was a little bit unique, was this little coupon and it is for the Ulta Skin Bar and you get $10 off. So that's pretty cool if you're near an Ulta. But here's the look that I created using the July Boxy Charm, and it is nothing like the theme Oh Natural, but that's just like me, I suppose. So I just wanted to make sure that it was fun and summery, and I wanted to let you guys know this box was absolutely amazing. These were all the items in my Boxy Charm. Um, the palette is getting away from me, but that's all the items here. Um, I did tally up the items uh, as far as the value of this box. So this box retails for $21 and the value is over $130 or something like that. I will put the exact figure on the screen there for you guys to see. Um, but absolutely amazing value. Um, my only feedback would be that this palette here by uh, Butter London was absolutely beautiful. But I do wish that the shades that were provided in this month's box had a little bit more pops of color in them. I know I had one pop of color, but I feel like it's summer, why not go wild and have a whole bunch of color in there? Um, but everything else performed beautifully and absolutely loved all the other products in the box. Uh, let me know what you guys got in your box when you finally get it, and please let me know what your thoughts were on uh, the products that I reviewed today. Thanks guys for staying tuned for the entire video and my review of the July BoxyCharm. Um, please let me know what your thoughts were on your BoxyCharm when you finally get it. Let me know what your favorite item was in this month's box in the comment section below, and hopefully I will see you guys in a future video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and you join the Glam by Suzanne family and um, hopefully you give this video a thumbs up and um, and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section below but I hope to see all of you on a future video and until next time guys take care and all the best bye bye